Hi everyone, welcome to this informative video. In this video, you will learn more and deeply about the life cycle of sunflower oil. Before we go further with that, we need to begin with the life cycle thinking LCT framework. So, let's start! What is life cycle thinking LCT? LCT aims to recognize potential improvement to goods and services in the form of lower environmental impacts and minimize resource usage across all stages of the life cycle. LCT is important to understand and avoid unintended burden shifting, whether between different types of impacts, different supply chain stages, or different stakeholders that can occur as a result of our management decisions. There are five main stages for this framework. The first stage is raw material extraction. The second stage is manufacturing. The third stage is distribution. The fourth stage is usage. And the fifth stage is end of life. Let's explore more the life cycle of sunflower oil. What is sunflower oil? Sunflower oil, or the scientific name Helianthus annuus, is a non volatile oil which is derived from the seeds of sunflower. This non volatile oil is a triglyceride that consists predominantly of palmitic acid, cherry acid, olive acid, and linoleic acid. The history of sunflower oil begins when sunflower appeared while Peter the Great was reigning. History of oil started in 1829 when Bokeru DC entered mass production. He found that seed contained lots of oily matter and he became the first who began pressing of useful product. The first oil mill was created in the Alitsipka village in 1833. Let's proceed with the nutrition facts of sunflower oil. 100 gram of sunflower oil has 881 kilocalories or 3683 kilojoules, together with 11.6 gram of saturated fat, 21.5 gram of monounsaturated fat and 62.8 gram of polyunsaturated fat. There are four fats of sunflower oil production. In 2019-20, the global production volume of sunflower oil worldwide amounted to 21.2 million metric tons. In 2014, Malaysia was 73 in the production of sunflower oil, reaching 783 metric tons. In 2014, Indonesia's production of sunflower oil grew 19.7% from a year earlier. Ukraine was ranked number one in sunflower oil production in 2014, totaling 4,400,324 metric tons. Let's find out the major producer countries of sunflower oil in 2019 and 2020. Ukraine produced the highest amount of sunflower oil which is 16.5 million metric tons or 30%. Meanwhile, other countries besides Russia, European Union, Argentina, and Turkey produced sunflower oil with the total amount of 8.5 million metric tons or 15.5%. Without further ado, let's proceed with the life cycle assessment LCA of sunflower oil. The life cycle of sunflower oil starts with the stage of raw material extraction followed by manufacturing, distribution, usage, and the fifth stage is end of life. At the stage of raw material extraction, the production of sunflower oil starts with sunflower cultivation on crops. The inputs are fertilizers, water, food, sunflower seeds and pesticides and then sunflower seeds are transported to the factory by truck for manufacturing processes the infrastructures include facilities machines and vehicles and the input is full the second stage is manufacturing a volatile hydrocarbon which is hexane is used as a solvent to extract the oil the manufacturing processes involved are Seeds cleaning, seeds grinding, pressing and extraction of crude oil from seeds, refining the oil obtained, and packaging. The inputs are sunflower seeds, hexane, and electricity. The next stage is distribution. 
The co-products are distributed to the supermarkets and other stores by lorry. The co-products are sunflower oil and sunflower meals, while the inputs are fuel and energy. The fourth stage is usage. Sunflower oils are used as cooking oil and suitable for any kind of foods. Sunflower oils are also used as beauty products. Meanwhile, sunflower meals are used as livestock feeding. The fifth and the last stage is end of life. There are three methods for this stage. The first is sunflower oil may be recycled into biofuels. The second is reuse the sunflower oil that is still good for cooking. And the third is place the cool oil in container and throw it in the trash bin. There are several environmental impacts that occur throughout the life cycle of sunflower oil. Let's start with stage of raw materials extraction. The first environmental impact is climate change. At this stage, impacts of climate change are primarily driven by three main factors. The main factor is manufacturing mineral nitrogen fertilizer accounts for 27% until 37% of greenhouse gases emissions. The second factor is dinitrogen monoxide emissions when spreading nitrogen fertilizers which account for 44% until 54% of total greenhouse gases emissions. The third factor is mechanization, like full consumption by farm machinery, also accounts for a significant share 9% until 19% of total greenhouse gases emissions. The second environmental impact is soil acidification. Water consumption is primarily impacted by crop field irrigation, fertilizer production, like p 2 5 and seed drying that lead to soil acidification. The environmental impact of climate change is also occur at the stage of manufacturing. The crushing and refining stages account for the vast majority of greenhouse gases emissions generated, bottling accounting for just 5% to 6%. These greenhouse gases emissions are primarily driven by pressurized steam generation and electricity consumption. For the stage of distribution, the distribution of the packaged sunflower oil is transported by truck which account for 48% of greenhouse gases emissions. As a result, for the production of sunflower oil, 100 grams of refined sunflower account for 89 grams of equivalent carbon dioxide and 1.7 liters of water. As a conclusion, life cycle thinking LCT can help businesses, policymakers, and consumers to do better decision making. For businesses, LCT can assist to identify possibilities and lead to decisions that can enhance the environmental performance, image, and economic benefits. For policymakers, LCT is increasingly fundamental in the development of environmental policies around the world, and for consumers, LCT help consumers make better choices through effective labeling. Last but not least, there are several solutions of reducing environmental impacts of the life cycle. The first solution is encourage farmers to use sustainable agricultural practices for better product yield. The next solution is limit the amount of fertilizers inputs for cultivation such as nitrogen fertilizers. And the third solution is practice irrigation on farm, field, or crop to reduce the water consumption. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope that this video can help you understand better the life cycle of sunflower oil. Don't forget to like, subscribe, give comment, and share this video. See you soon.